Hi beauties, welcome back. So we are catching up with our September unboxings. This is our Ipsy versus Ipsy. Um, I know it's midway through October, but I'm planning a wedding. Uh, it's actually my bachelor bachelorette party combined with Nikki where the two of us are gonna sit in our living room and drink and watch horror movies the Saturday before our Wednesday wedding. Uh, yeah, so I, it's, it's been crazy here. Uh, everything's delayed. I've been not focused on anything with the channel most of the year, honestly, and definitely not right now because I'm just trying to get this all pulled together. But here we are, late as ever, getting through, chugging along, persisting. If you're new here, what is Ipsy versus Ipsy? Well, my mother has an Ipsy subscription. I have an Ipsy subscription. Each month I open our two bags together. I see which one I like better as a whole. And then I pick out my five favorite products from the 10 that the two of us received. And I create my ideal bag for the month. Um, I don't, I don't remember anything about, I know my plus I was not happy with, but I don't remember anything about the little bag and I don't have any idea what to expect with it. I can't remember if I felt excited or not. It sounds terrible, but, uh, so we'll just see, we'll just roll with it and we'll see what happens. Uh, we are starting with moms cause we always do. So without, without any further hesitation, we'll just jump in here and let's open this bad boy up. Oh, I do. Okay. I always see the bag and I go, oh, I remember the bag. Cute. It, I don't know why, but it gives me clueless vibes. I just love it. I just, how precious. Like, I, look at this, amazing. Uh, yeah, so it is work, school, life. That's what the theme was. <laughs> yes. All right, opening up our little pouch. Inside I see. First thing we have is a Be Bright Illuminating Concealer from Koki Professionals. We have gotten Koki products in the past from Ipsy. I like them, nice little brand. I love getting concealers. I love concealer and foundation, don't know why. Some of them are great, some of them aren't. I just like to experiment with them. So uh, yeah, and this is my mom's obviously, so the shade's a little dark for me, um, but I think it'd be probably a pretty good match for her. It's medium beige. Um, definitely her like during the summer, I think would be probably like, she probably still could use it now cause she's still tan from the summer, but yeah. So I think she will, I think she'll use it. I think she'd use it. Um, this is from Sugar Cosmetics. It is the plush crayon in the shade Bourbon Brie. I'm not gonna open it. I don't like opening her products like this if, if she hasn't already opened it. Um, but that's kind of the color, kind of like a brown orangey, like a burnt orange almost. Don't think she's gonna like the shade if I'm being honest. Um, I know we've gotten these little sugar crayon lip colors before. I really like the formula. Um, I really like the color personally. She just is very much a pure neutral person. Like she wants like, like nude colored lips and that I feel like that's just a little too dark for her. I feel like she's not gonna vibe with it. I'm not even sure she would try it if I'm being honest. Next thing we have is a Lower East Side Full Brow Gel. I'm laughing because we just did the boxy charms and my mom got a clear brow gel in her boxy charm. So apparently it was just a brow gel month for the subscription services. Uh, this one at least is colored. It is like a nice kind of brown shade. And I'm honestly not sure if that's better or worse for her because she doesn't really do a whole lot with her brows. Um, she may fill them in a little bit, but I feel like this might be a, a shade a little too dark for her to feel comfortable using. So next thing we have is a Sugar Rush. I think this is from Tarte because this looks like their Sugar Rush logo, but it doesn't say Tarte anywhere on there. It is the Lash Smoothie. So I'm assuming it's like a lash primer. Oh no, it's not. It's, man, uh, Sugar Rush has got to be the brand. It's got, hold on, it's got to be the brand. Hold on, hold on. No, it is, it's Tarte. Why do I always question myself? I know brands. I'm informed. Okay, so yes, it is Tarte. It is, an, uh, it is a mascara. It's, uh, it's just a regular old mascara. I like Tarte mascaras and it looks like a nice brush, so sure. Um, I always feel like mascaras are kind of like a throwaway. I say it, mascaras, eyeliners, things like that. It's like a safe choice. So not the best, not the worst, whatever. She got another perfume. I'm pretty sure mom's got like three perfumes this year. And honestly, every one that she's received so far, I've been jealous of. So we'll see how this one smells, but this is a uh, memoir by the sea, I think is what it is. Uh, de Parfum. I sprayed myself in the face. Oh, I really like that. Very refreshing. It's, it, uh, it's very, very clean smelling, very refreshing. Yeah, Sunny Dunes, Mandarin Peel, and Magnolia Blossom. I like it a lot. I like it. I like seeing the perfumes in here. I wish I got more of them, honestly. Um, maybe I'll have one in my bag. I don't remember. I don't remember at all what I got. So yeah, cute bag. I liked her bag. I liked her bag. I liked her bag a lot, actually. 
I think the worst product is probably, for my, in my opinion, it's probably the brow product. But even that is not that bad. I don't know, that's a good bag. That's a solid ass bag. That's a thumbs up for that bag. I don't know how my mom would feel about it. I feel like she'd probably like it. It may not be her favorite product. I feel like some of them are more like what I would use, but whatever, whatever. Beggars can't be choosers, you know? You're, a couple months ago before she changed her age, she wasn't getting any sort of makeup. So it's hard to complain, right? Right, right, you guys know. First thing I see, I have a brush. It is a very nice tapered uh, blending brush. I do like getting brushes. I've been getting a lot recently, but if I'm gonna get a brush, this is the type of brush I'm gonna wanna receive because it's one that I will use. Um, I always use I always use my blending brushes for almost everything. I probably could do an entire eye look with a brush like this. So yes, I, I like that one, like that. Big, big fan, big fan. Got a lot of stuff that's all bundled up nice and like packaged like that. All right. Next thing I have is from Origins. This is the original skin matte moisturizer with willow herb. Honestly, I like Origins. Uh, I like seeing moisturizers. I would prefer to get a perfume over something like this just because we see moisturizers all the time and the perfumes are kind of like nice to see, but not a bad product. I'm just jealous. I think that's really what it is. Next thing I have is from Item. This is a slick type replenishing cleansing balm for dry skin. Oh, it's like, whoa, that's weird. Oh, it's like, oh, it's like a bomb. Oh yeah, okay, okay. It's like, it's like in there, it's like like wax, it's like wax. So how do you do this? Hmm. Oh yeah, okay, so I guess it's kind of like a, it's supposed to be like a bomb that goes in there. I'm thinking it's, I'm guessing it's oil-based if I had to assume. I don't know, I don't know what any of those chemicals mean. Um, but yeah, so I'm guessing it's kind of like an oil-based balm that's gonna go in there and like melt away. It's, it's supposed to melt away your makeup. So it's supposed to like clean your face, get all the makeup off. I can vibe with it. I'm willing to try it. I would prefer to get the perfume. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm jealous of that damn perfume. All right, next thing I got is a Ariza Beauty Champagne Shimmer Eyeshadow that is literally sealed to the point that I'm not sure I'm ever gonna actually get into. Oh, we found it, I found it comment everybody's we're fine we're fine okay so not my favorite eyeshadow palette i'm gonna be honest the shimmers are pretty um i don't know the brands i don't know how the formula is it's just they're all shimmers and i don't like they don't not match with each other i just feel like 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 you couldn't use this to make a look you could use this as an addition to another palette i think Somebody else might be like, no, you can use that as a look. You're just not trying hard enough. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to try that hard. I'm going to be honest. I want something that's a little bit easier to work with than uh, me having to come up with something with all shimmers and the matching being eh. So, mm, mm. but the camera died. And while the camera died, I opened up the last product, which was a hip dot highlighter that is adorable. So I like this a lot. I'm going to be honest from my bag. The only things that I really am like with are the brush and the highlighter. So mom's bag is the winner for this month. If I had to create my perfect bag, I would pick her concealer, but in a lighter shade for me. Definitely the perfume, hands down the perfume. I would do the lip color too, cause I think that's actually gonna be a really pretty color. And then I would do my brush and the hip dot highlighter. So yeah, not a bad month, not the worst month we've seen. I feel like I got a, a good amount of variety with it at least, which a lot of times we don't see that, but I got eyeshadow, I got, you know, a highlighter, I got a brush, I got a moisturizer, I got a balm to remove my makeup from. So like, and then the same thing with mom. She got perfume, she got lipstick, she got mascara, she got brow stuff, she got concealer. So good variety. Um, I definitely just feel like mine was not the best. Um, honestly, after mom changed her age, her bag's been getting just a lot better. And I'm kind of debating whether or not I should put myself into the early 20s instead of the late 20s and see how that would affect it. Cause I feel like I might get better makeup then. I don't know. What did you guys think? Do you remember September? It's been a long time, I know, I'm very late, sorry. Uh, let me know uh, what you guys think, how you guys are feeling about Ipsy at the moment. And uh, other than that, I hope you guys are all doing well, you're safe, you're healthy, and you have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.